There's definitely a police baton just kind of floating there. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you found it. <laughs> Heck yeah. So uh, I think um, I mentioned uh, in, a, in last week, I was talking about the way in which we introduced flaws, and rather than putting them in, putting them in deliberately, we thought it would be more authentic just to sort of accidentally create them and then leave them in. Um, Mark Haig was trying to place a monster or something. He ended up placing a hanging leg, uh, and it was it was flagged in easy and medium. And I said, leave it in, and furthermore, flag it for hard as well, because we want to see that in all its um, <laughs> pixelated glory from a distance. <laughs> yeah, that's it's awesome. a stupid thing. And of course, uh, it was done in uh, Doom One as well. Yeah, there was different. I remember somewhere there was, were a couple of hanging legs. In yeah, and, uh, in, in E2M2? M2? There's oh. um, one. Uh, and E3 and 2 actually hmm. but in, in, in E2 M7 there's the hanging legs in the, one of the areas and it's pretty obvious what happened I mean Sandy intentionally placed the leg there back when there was a ceiling and then at the last moment he said nah I want to put Sky there instead and so we just did that and forgot to remove the leg like a hey, boss I, <laughs> uh, Sandy I saw those the lovable rogue I think there were like glasses somewhere and they Kind of want them because it's way too dark to make out anything here. Hey, uh, <laughs> super nostalgia. Whoever needs glasses, or is it the thing? Hmm, can't really. Oh, there they are. So, incidentally, when you are uh, going back right. playing through the uh, the first maps again, did you take some time out to find all the secrets or try to find oh, some more? Yes, definitely in a couple first maps. By then, I I think in. Maybe in the gorge I kind of forgot to, and then I gave up on that. But in the couple first maps, I definitely st stood, st stood, stayed in them until I found all the secrets in them. Mm. Uh, don't remember anything, anything really standing out, but they're nice, nice secrets. Mm. The only one I remember for s no reason because it's not really unique in any way. Uh, I think it was in uh, map two with there's like. Uh, some oh i haven't been here something uh something some lift lowering when you cross a certain random line there somewhere and that that's not really i, I don't know maybe it's just me I, I haven't been playing a lot of custom made levels obviously but uh, uh it doesn't feel like people you usually even do that anymore just kind of some random that's line right. there yeah. anywhere opening a door and, for uh, a while. it was actually really great for me um since i didn't, haven't remade basically any map before I started mapping for this project, aside from the first project. Um, so I think it's just really healthy, uh, if you're designing um, for this map set, to, uh, to, to discover some of these um, some of these specials and get into good habits before you you know set about making maps in your own style. Hmm. Uh, so now I'll be I'll prepared to do donut effects, if I please. <laughs> Ooh, well, More than just the standard door open, lifts, stairs, sometimes. People don't even use stairs that often. Oh, nice ceiling there. Cut yes, off. ooh, gloriously Sandy <laughs> slapped it on. Didn't give a shit. Okay, did I... Do I... Ah, oh, do it, I have to. Oh, hello, teleporting. Here's a demon horde. It comes... In fact, it's just four demons. <laughs> it very quickly went from a horde to being just a sort of skirmish. Hmm. Customary pickup. Berserk, you have a couple of pinkies in your face. There's some hideous texturing in this. Um, in this uh, I think I might have actually gone in the last section and tried to reduce some of it without taking away from Arcade's creativity. Um, it might be asking a little bit much of Sandy to be making it this ugly in places. <laughs> and I might be crediting Arcade for that. I wonder if. Uh, okay. I remember. Didn't Romero like see the original Doom 2 the way he did or something? I remember him. Commenting on some wood and saying, "Oh, that's cool," or maybe he was just in the. He actually joined the forums um, to drop like six or seven comments on the original project, and I think he played a couple levels from the first project and wrote to Hellbent saying that he enjoyed it. Hmm. Uh, and he later emailed Marnetmar, I think it was, um, to ask about the progress of Doom to the way it did. Um, although I'm not sure if he even knows that it's been released, so hmm. I, I think it's safe to bet that he hadn't. Safe to say that he hadn't hasn't played this one yet. I think he also enjoyed Brutal Doom, so I don't think he's like authority on. Yeah, his opinion doesn't count. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, he's old. He's uh, old now and fat and everything. Just get him out. Um, I'm wondering if Sandy would have been offended by 
when you make some <laughs> of his moves, like, I wasn't this shit, was I? Sadly, the real champion. Say. And how do I get out there? I want that fucking glass thing, goggles, spectacles. Actually, not even that much. Although I do want to know where do I go at this point. Did I pick? Yeah, I did pick the auto map, and I guess that's a bit. Although it would have been grey. Holy fuck! I I was everywhere at this point, apparently, except for <laughs> that little part, and I still haven't got a single key. Interesting. Maybe something something happened in here. I just hope that something happened in here. I missed something the first time because. Uh, oh, hello, lift! A huge support three lift that I didn't press. <laughs> All right. At least I'm not quite as retarded as I was last time because I'm actually looking at stuff intelligently. Try well, intelligently is a strong word, but still. So we were talking about uh, in the recap session when we were briefly looking at map seven, mm -hmm. uh, and I was talking about the difficulty that Tarnsman had and coming to terms with the sort of map that he wanted to make and whether he was satisfied with it or not, uh, and how this was. Largely down to the fact that he couldn't, you know, um, couldn't make a convincing use of the special um, and keep it as simple without ripping directly off um, uh, dead simple. Um, and it's actually that sort of analogy works as well in a, in part for episode two, since if you look at maps like down two, they really are once again just like dead simple, really elementary. I mean, it's just a box with with boxes in it, and each of those boxes contains a separate idea. Um, and again, I mean, if you really wanted to be sandy, you just do that again. But we didn't want to rip off map thirteen, so I think this is um, wow. What's up with those things down there? I don't know. Leave it in. Well, obviously leave it in, but I'm, st I'm just wondering how the hell it appeared here in the first place. No, I don't know. I have huh. absolutely no idea. And I will delight in looking... Actually, I'm going to look it up now in the editor. Why not? No, Please do. I am I'm interested in what they're doing there. <laughs> Is there a reason to have a sector in here? Huh. Huh. So yeah, I, th I think Mark did a pretty good job of sort of capturing that downtown vibe of, you know, having separate ideas and separate buildings. Um, but like... also keeping it sort of kind of fresh. It almost feels like a cross between uh, Map 13 and The Pit, you know, with a sort of abstract, quirky texture mixing. So I'm hmm. pretty satisfied with it. But I mean, yeah, that's the best we can do without directly ripping off maps like Map 13. I cannot quite comment the same extent on Sandy maps because they are a bit more adventurous and I guess maybe stuff that uh, you, you, you can't really say. This is something Sandy would not have done ever. Because he, given enough time and uh, an alternate universe uh, excuse, he would have done probably everything if you right. copied the Doom 2 enough time. He would have turned into Mechadon or Dutch Devil. Or, yeah. or, like I said before, we, we, we have no idea what Sandy a Sandy map would look like if he had more than, you know, two seconds to make a map. I didn't really know before you said it last time that he was pressed for time. I thought he was just lazy. Let's take a look here. Map 13, Doom 2, open it up. Zoom in on the desired spot and let's see what's happening here. Oh! Um, he just has a sector lowered by 32 units with untextured sides. Awesome. And that's where you can see the Mod Wall 3 creeping in there. I don't know why it, that's... I also uh, re like really it. love this teleporter. I hope someone remarked on this teleporter and said, mm. <laughs> it's just you know, a strong be. hint, strong hint to who I am maybe referring here. <laughs> <clears throat> that teleporter. I think that's a great. I think that's a great impression, Android. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not an impression. What are you talking about? <laughs> Someone with Tourette's. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> ah, damn it! I jumped down somewhere with <clears throat> without even thinking of the consequences. Now I have to find that building again. Ah, what a world. <laughs> Uh, other tidbits of information about map 13, this is one of the last maps to be included, um, and up till like one of the latest b uh, betas, actually no it's not quite true, but uh, definitely up until at least a month before uh, the project was released, um, Zodiac's map was in the map 13 slot, and um, Zodiac made quite a few submissions, and he was really great with the feedback, um, but unfortunately he wasn't around during like the second half of development, or the last quarter of development, um, to really refine his maps, and we didn't want to tweak them for him. Um, brother! So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> brother, okay. 
Uh, so that word was unfortunate. By I mean, he has some really great ideas. Uh, in, in the map 13 slot was a map called the Docks, um, which is a sort of Sean Green map, and would have been the only Sean Green map to have made it into the map set. Um, but he wasn't there again to, to sort of fix some of the things, and so uh, regrettably we had to sort of rem remove it. Mark X stepped in and made this map instead. This is an interesting thematic thing here with the docks and uh, whatever. This is wharf and the uh, That's shipyard. right, yeah. I'm not sure that was conscious or not. It just we sort of completed it and we realized, oh, hey, um, half of episode two is water themed. <laughs> well, that's cool, cool because, as I mentioned last time, I like the slight thematic shift of episode two of the original Doom, the way he did with the digs and the asylum and stuff. And this is, this feels like something they would have done if they actually had an idea for this episode beyond just <laughs> city level. Cool. I think we'll take the credit for it, even though it might not have been intentional. Well, hmm. I don't think, yeah, I, I wouldn't think you people would have just kind of sat down and said, hmm, this needs more a theme than just city levels. What should we do? Let's make water-based, naval-based. Yeah, I think that could have had something to do with it. Like I, like I said before, we were trying to you know, um, keep it simple in a sandy way without copying map 13. And so maybe we're just sort of leaning towards water. I think it's just a theme that wasn't just even touched in the original Doom 2 city maps and it just kind of begs to be included something like this is a part of a city and an important part of some cities that have water in them. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't there before, okay. And uh, I guess maybe all these people had just kind of the same idea of what was missing from the original game. There we have it, my analysis is complete. Okay, let's... And such a good analysis it is. Oh, hmm. I, I will probably like submit a paper to some newspaper <laughs> about... Dissertation. Yeah, about this. Okay, so I am here. This is grounds for congratulatory celebration. So where do I... I think I was here before, so where the fuck do I... Also, why is this thing red on the auto map if it's possible? Interesting. Um, Huh. I just kind of jump across here. Did I ever yes. cross this before? Arg, but arg. I am not willing to go back through that again. I'm just gonna reload. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a very tough one, honestly. Although I was here before, obviously, I there was the something here which I already picked up, so I have no idea what the fuck was the point of that. And now I am kind of lost again. I don't maybe shall, I, uh, shall I hold my tongue? Shall I leave Android to figure everything out? Yeah, I think while I'm fighting this at this point, I'm I am kind of out of ideas. So you should probably drop a hint or something. Well, you're actually at the right building. It's the one of the funnels, uh, the one that you're looking at right now. So um, yeah, there's just tons of walk uh, lines you have to walk over. Um, the like that water pit. You've stepped in there and. Uh, Hmm. Here we go. There we go. How the hell did I never see that before? I think I even went up this at some point. Maybe not. Oh well. I, actually, I think you did. I think you went off halfway and then you changed your mind and said, I can't be right. <laughs> ah, oh, chain gunner involuntary rape. Well, that was. It's tautology because rape is always involuntary. That was pitiful. <laughs> uh, and now these fuckers come here. How did they all. Did they fit through the tiny doors? Interesting. Little known fact, cacodemons are actually uh, liquids. Okay. Um, they're just sort of globes with horns. And they sort of just slid underneath the door, leaked through. Hmm. I never knew that. <laughs> now I'm wondering where the yellow door is. Awesome. Didn't really remember that. Oh, well, let's just run around all the yeah, maps. Yeah, I, I do believe it's in here. Somewhere. Huh? Probably not, because there's the red. Oh, it's the red key, though. Um, it's not even, I think it's... Uh, oh, no, you can actually use that. Well, let's just enter all the buildings and see if we can find something. Good question. Where do you go? Ah, yes, the central, central structure. That you're about to jump off of. Hmm. Uh-huh. Good thing you said that in time. There may oh, or may not be a jub, 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 jub. <laughs> Ah! I'm not nearly <laughs> as good as Cyber Demons as you are, so I'm just fleeing. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so there's a bit of discussion surrounding the Cyber Demon here. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, because if you think mm -hmm. about uh, the way in which Sandy in particular... Actually, no, 
pretty much all of the um, the boss encounters, all of the spider demons and cyber demons, they all have some sort of gimmicks around again. Like, I cannot see shit. <laughs> he doesn't even get bright when he's firing. He's very trigger happy today. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just do this. Ah, damn it, for a while. I was about to say thank you. Actually, I forgot in the recap to say thank you because there was no cyber demon in map. Well, there was a, a one in map 10 in the original game, and there weren't any cyber demons in the first 11 maps, and I was very thankful for that. Because I don't really like. Wait, them. because we were actually on. Ah, so. Yay! Wow. <laughs> you collected diligently. Yeah, we, I, we thought it was a problem, honestly, that we didn't have. Um, a boss monster in there. I mean, aside from the spider demon map seven, of course. Uh, yeah, it's ten maps. Um, it's interesting whether this was uh, a really, really a good cyber demon encounter. Cause, I mean, certainly I argued that it wasn't get quite gimmicky enough. Um, if you think about map, map the refueling based cyber demon, he teleports around a lot. Uh, the map eight one, in tricks and traps. That's all about infighting. This one is just sort of there on the central structure, not doing much, um, <laughs> except killing Android again and again and again. Uh, I just remember. Oh, hello! Damn it! I could have done that with the chainsaw. He was so close. Ah! Uh, now I'm frustrated that I didn't do it with the chainsaw because uh, I remember vividly that one time, long time ago, I was uh, talking with. Uh, how's your name pronounced? I even, don't even remember. Here goes down. From yeah, Doom World. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of Skyping with her for no reason, I don't remember why. And I was playing a motor nerve, I think. And uh, there was a spider mastermind which I finished with a chainsaw, and that was like my best moment the whole my life in Doom. Because I never did anything quite as uh, spectacular again. Which is a was shame. It in, uh, was it in uh, Zedum? Or was it in uh, Vanilla? Probably, I play everything in Zedum, so it's probably, it was probably All right. in Zedum. Because if it was in Vanilla, then that would have been spectacular, avoiding yeah. a block map. Chainsawing a spider mastermind when you can't hit it at 90% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, obviously, I, there are some things that Zidum does wrong which I don't really care about because I don't know those things and I don't really use... I don't know, I don't tend to chainsaw spider masterminds or mancubi or whatever else is too fat for Well, that. I think more of you as a person, Android, for, for uh, fulfilling this feat. Right. And I'm very glad. Oh, there's blue bars also. I didn't even see them before. So do you remember where those red bars are? I think they're up to the north. I so. might just see it on... Yeah, there's that confusing piece of confusion there. Hey, hello. Double confusion. Uh, <laughs> okay. My prediction is that there's going to be a blue key somewhere around here. Yep. Hey, I wonder how it's Tanrock 2! Whee! Or three or something. Wait, which one is um, that? This one? This this one with the line in the middle. Yeah. yeah. It's not used very often in Doom 2. In fact, I think it's just used in two different places. It's way too bright, I think. Doesn't really fit with any other texture ever. <laughs> yeah, it looks like just standard standard um apartment wallpaper or something. Hmm. I wanted to use it in map twenty four, uh, because it kinda looks like something made out of Adobe or something, but it was way too bright for anything because all the other brick textures are so much darker. Why am I hesitating here? Oh, shush, shush, shush. oh but that but but whoa. How did I survive that punch? Losing an eight health. Hello. So and now I'm trapped for oh no, I'm not trapped forever. Phew! Say so good night, Android. I'm digging your grave right now. Yeah. I've survived worse. Maybe, I hope. Damn it. Grace! Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, I just will probably run. No. Okay, another direction. Hit scan things there. <clears throat> there is actually a way to get up onto that pillar with the medkits. Well, I should hope so, but... Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, <laughs> they're not just there for show. Come on. But I'm willing to bet it's probably at least a bit secret. Okay, fuck you and fuck you. I don't know why I sometimes just have this compulsion to run through without killing people and die over and over again. Because obviously, in some places, in most places, if you take your time to kill everyone, it becomes so much easier. 
Hello. Hmm. Corpse there. Could have been one of mine. I mean, as well. I remember I was playing in co-op in like uh, what was it? Skull tag or maybe Zdaemon? Zdaemon? Uh, with someone and I was playing as this fat marine sprite with a pink color. Ah, chops. And, yes, of course. And I was I was dying so much that <laughs> my my co partner was complaining that he couldn't see half the map because there were so many fat. Your fat stomach was yeah, filling co corpses up, yes. everywhere. It happens. Hmm. Cacodemons are a big offender. Yeah, they are just. Then they should deflate more. Oh well. <sighs> Relaxed here in this little tub. Yeah, grab a lilo, just lie there for a couple of hours. Hmm. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well. Should at least wash my goddamn face. Um, I do want that, but I guess I shouldn't really. I mean, uh, uh, how do I actually escape? There's probably a huge thing that you can use in the side here. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. yeah, I think um, first time I playtested this map, I got confused at that point. There are some textures that you're just more inclined to try and use for no reason. Ah, it's a wonderful sandy door. Just a big fat sector. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> okay, now blue bars. I definitely remember that they were outside, um, which helps a lot. Let's look at the map. Rrr. Across the entire fucking thing. All right. <clears throat> and that button there is just kind of not even supple anymore. The leg is mocking you. God damn it, and I was there. Damn it, why did I run across this thing? <laughs> ah, we're so close. Alright, we are here. Ah, that's not the exit, obviously. I know what I was expecting there. Couple arch files, no? This guy blocking the exit sign with his fat body, you jerk and considered piece of crap while hanging there. Yeah, what a freak. Um, huh. Actually, ah. it's okay. That's a really pointless teleporter, and I approve wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Its existence. Um, yeah, so the, um, the lo little lava pit exit thing. Uh, that's um, an episode two trend, of course. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's a map by Jimmy. Uh, it actually continues, probably consciously this time. Uh, the water trend. Episode two. It's called the flooded library, mm -hmm. or just flooded library. Uh, it's um, in the style of McGee, and coincidentally takes the place of the map 14 slot, of course, since uh, the demo stems was also McGee map. Hmm. Uh, this map um, was edited quite a lot, actually. It went through a heck of a lot of version of, uh, versions. I, I corrected myself with the same word. <laughs> versions. Ah, um, you're so dumb. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, and I think part of that is because Unlike myself or Tansman, Jimmy is a prolific mapper. He's made a heck of a lot of moves, I mean, well into the hundreds. Um, and so for someone like him to, to ask him to, to, to really work with someone else's style, um, it's gonna be, he's going to be leaving a lot of his own stylistic elements in the map uh, that need to be weeded out, I guess. Um, myself and Tansman, we could just sort of jump into it, and there is one to fix, hopefully. Uh, but Jimmy had a lot of Jimmy-isms that needed fixing. Uh, and thankfully he was more than willing to do them himself. Um, very patient with it. I think we went through like five or six or seven different versions before we got to the right one. I'm just thinking of a library like that is too strong a theme for them too, because they were a bit more loose with their level themes, I think. And uh, I, I can't really see it too well them just s picking a name like that and sticking with it to this extent, like legitimately making bookshelves and a Name called uh, in a map called library. That's that's unheard of. Hmm. <laughs> but maybe maybe yeah, they could have. It could actually be a little too literal. It's possible. Um, pun intended. Hmm. Ah, I miss the thin rockets from Quake. Now you could fit through any hole. God damn it! Oh well, I guess he'll live for a couple more seconds until I. You can shoot shift. him just from the banister. The next room. Or I from a okay. next Let's window over. Hello. I said hello. Hello. 
Alright, mm. but I guess if anyone was to do a map like this, it would have been McGee. If anyone was to stick to a style and uh, do bookshelves for no reason other than to yeah, maintain I mean, a theme. Of the three mappers, it, McGee would have been the one to do it. Um, I honestly can't see either Sandy or Romero thinking, ah, I prob probably, than, yeah. probably need bookshelves They might, they might here. call it Flooded Library, but there would be very little obvious library in it. They'd use the bookshelf textures, no doubt. Um, yeah, and on, on like be... really squiggly lines and shit. Not, <laughs> not the structures like here. Uh, now I kind of, now I'm kind of sad that this isn't supposed to be a sandy map with this same concept, because it would have been really funny to see really squiggly bookshelves. Oh well, at least they still have the stone on the top of shelves. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, ah. yeah. Yay! God damn. Three I love platforming in FPS games for no reason at all. Probably because. One of my first shooters was Turok 2, and it, it had oh, yeah. a, bit, a bit fancier platform because you could fall off something. If you didn't jump in the first place, you could jump me there. It made made everything way easier, and that's probably where I acquired my taste, re refined taste as it is. <sighs> probably not possible. I was just thinking a little bit more about um, uh, McGee and namesakes and maps, and uh, I guess this map is kind of different from the normal McGee map in that. You know, um, I actually think um, that if they did actually do a flooded library map with that as the title, there would have only been one error in the map that was a library, and the rest would have been irrelevant. Um, hmm, possible. Such is the case with the Crusher. You know, you have the eponymous Crusher, and the rest of it is just, just whatever. McGee made a map. Um, the waste tunnels. Actually, now that I think about it, the waste. Well, actually, you know, the waste tunnels. There is that cave area in the northeast. Is south. that supposed to be the waste tunnels? I was at the little lifts which are lowering by themselves are kind of, I don't know, waste things where you drop your waste and not the cave. <laughs> Interesting. Wow, I never thought of that. That's probably the, first, the the thing I remember most about that map, which is not the cave part, it's those goddamn lifts, which you cannot even see. Hmm. There's some stuff happening here. There are definitely things happening in this map. Commentary. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where it is, but there is an excellent skip in this map that enables you to dodge 60% of it. Um, probably more, in fact. Um, and we knew that before we sent, them out, sent it out for release. Uh, we contemplated removing it, but as with all other Leave It In TMs, uh, you left it in, TM. <laughs> uh, good for you. Yeah, well, everyone, pretty much everyone, I think, Klaus skips like that, so there was no reason to remove it, I guess. Unless the author was really fanatical about making the player play everything totally 100% like I sometimes am, but still. When your map set, I guess map set, map set, not just a singular map, is intended to be replayed, or at least made like a game that was intended to be replayed in the first place, uh, really should not be really too mean about I guess too much of a control freak in how you want your player to play your mm. map. Do you, can, do you, you think? Uh, do you think many level designers uh, today put way too much effort into you know making sure that the player plays the map as he intended instead of as the player wants to? Well, I think definitely more than they were when the original it team did because well obviously. Mm. But uh, I know I certainly am. Usually when I m make a portion of the map, I really want the player to see it because I heard. <laughs> I hold no illusion of people wanting to replay my stuff, so I kind of usually want to make them play at least the more the parts I'm more proud of. I usually make them arbitrary, but uh, arbitrary. Yeah, I guess that's the word. But um, I don't know if that's bad, really. Well, I, th I think it's actually unfortunate that um, we might be mapping in an era in which. Uh, most people can be expected to just play something once um, because it, it really robs you of the chance to do, do things or create maps like um, like id has done with doom 2 in that they expect you I, I guess because it's a commercial product to to you know have replay value and play multiple times over so they you know a modern map has put so much effort into making sure you get to see as much as the map for the only time that you're ever going to play it and Give no thought, or not much thought, to replayability. Hmm. 
Well, it's just, I think we discussed something about this last time, that these days people don't really spend too much time on any one WOD, replaying it over and over, looking for all the yeah. secrets, no one really cares anymore. I guess it's always, it's always nice to have, even if it doesn't really affect the enjoyment of one's playthrough, it's always nice to have, especially if uh, the author makes some effort to, I guess, maybe reveal it or just kind of make a playthrough showing everything off or like write write some sort of guide although who does that for his own maps I mean th these sorts of things it's neat to know about a map that oh this map has a lot of replayability potential even if no one's gonna use it but it's still cool that it's there and makes it a better map somehow uh, but uh, hmm where I was going with there I will never know I guess that's just the entire point I have so it may, may be worth may be worth doing that sort of stuff just so you can say that haha my map is non-linear even though you're not really sure that everyone is going to see that I mean anyone even I'm just kind of bragging rights here maps being uh, judged not by how much fun every single player had but just uh, on their own like this map is good because it has this stuff even though no one is going to see this stuff or it's not benefit it's not going to benefit anyone still mm. cool cool to have Oh, like this. Have you, um, leave it in things. Have you played many of Jimmy's map sets? If I, if I did, I don't really know because. <laughs> well, uh, Genesis, Genesis, for example, <coughs> it's mega one. Probably not. No. Yeah, I. I, I say at one point that you haven't had. Uh, I haven't dab dabbled in Doom much recently. Yeah, I don't really ever. Well, I started enthusiastic about playing a lot of custom levels when I d didn't really know much about anything. I think one of my first things were was uh, Alien Vendetta and it impressed me a couple times really especially I think for some reason the map that stands out is the green brick thing Toxic Touch or Toxin Touch or something Toxic Touch, yeah I don't know why but it, it, it really really impressed me back in the day but uh, after that I uh, remember I asked for some suggestions somewhere maybe on Doom World even uh, for stuff to play which is considered good by pretty much everyone and I also recommend some old classic megawatts like Memento Mori and stuff which I honestly didn't even like that much and maybe that's what turned me kind of off I uh, well I played Unloved I played some of Russian some of the Russian community maps I play these doom the way it did and such so I'm I pick arbitrarily some things that I am interested in for no reason but there's just so much so many megawatts and a lot of them don't have a story even so <laughs> Why would I even play something without a story? Come on. 